Кавалер, я врубаю дав панка, крутит мне план Покидаем клуб, в руки сувенян блан От липа ты ее губ, залипаю в экран Я кидаю деньги в воздух, ты поймаешь их Hi guys, this is your girl, Lisha Joya Thank you very much for coming to this YouTube video This is a direct tutorial on how to get started with plant pets that are breedable inside Second Life now I want to show you there's a difference between the updated seeds and the non-updated seeds the updated seeds are brown and the updated seeds are green so we are going to show you how to get started right now now you're going to open up your inventory and you're going to find something called plant pet seed and today I'm going to show you guys how to work with the tulip teal allen now we're going to rest this on the ground if you haven't figured out this is what I'm working with I have more in my main shop and I have a few more down here and I have more here in which I have to update I want to thank Bruce, the owner of Plant Pets, for allowing extra time for October 31st for people like me with thousands of these seeds to be able to update them because it's a pain in the butt and I'm on my last set. But let's get started directly into the tutorial. All right. Bam. All right. It's going to look, your seed is going to look like this. So we're going to rise it on the ground. See, it turns orange and turns green. Click on it. It's going to say grow. Yes, you're going to want to click grow, everybody. And then you want to click I agree because you're agreeing to his terms of service. Now, it disappears, so don't freak out. And so you can see this. It, it, it says um, speed growth is normal at the bottom, moisture level 25, health is 100, growth is 0, and it's plant 2.0. This is the part where you're going to need to click the speed first when you first get the seed. You need to click on extra fast. And it says speed of growth change extra fast. Click the back button and click watering and put it at 80%. And it will increase from there. So if you're at, at 90, you put 20, it's going to make it 100%. If you're at 15, you put it at 40 more, then it will be 90%. You get it from there. Now you click back, and it says the growth is 0% at the present moment. It's going to take a while for this to grow. Maybe about an hour, maybe two hours to grow. So we're going to pause this video and go from here. Now while our seed is growing kids I want to show you some of my stuff that I have been growing. I have stuff in my main store but I also have some private stuff right here. Now I want to show you guys my little private little stash right up in here. Take a look at that. Take a look at all this stuff. I have more in barrels. I have about 60 plus more to res out, but these guys have temp on res prims, everybody. So you need to be careful with how many you have on your sim. If you have a full prim sim, then you're awesome, you're good to go. But if you share a sim with other avatars, say for example, you have a, you know, you share a, like a quarter sim, and then you have people with other parts of that same sim. You need to be careful because sometimes these will take up temp res. They also cause lag if you're not careful. And also some don't res their parts, so don't be too alarmed. Now when you click on one, this one's got um, something called speed of growth is real life speed. That means it's the slowest speed possible. That means I've let it grow up to be full maturity. And that the moisture level is 97% and the health is 100 and the growth is also 100. Now this one was a Wonder Garden pumpkin mix. It's not resing at the moment, 
So don't get upset if you don't see the parts to it. Sometimes they flicker on, you know, what they want, you know, who they want to show first. This is actually one of my favorite plants. This is my Eleusis Coralius, if I even pronounce that correctly. This is always my favorite one, but now it's vintage, so you cannot grow these anymore. I even have the, pur the, yeah, the purple one as well. In order to get the statue, you have to click on the pot itself. This is called Eleusis Purpola, and I love these ones. These were always, like, my favorites. You know, I have other ones that are my ultimate favorites, but that these are my favorites. This is actually, let me see, let me show you. Um, I actually started plant pets on one of my alts on accident. And sometimes if you have tampon res prims, you're going to get can't res object, PP, infinity, rainbow, blah, 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 on parcel, blah, 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 because your parcel is too full. That is just the temp on res prims. They still work. They still are amazing. Still are beautiful. Um, this one is an infinity bamboo rose fairy charmed. I love this. Um, I got this as a gift. And this as a gift. And this as a gift. And then this one was accidental. Um, it's Pilgrim. This is one. It's got different color leaves, and it's got these awesome little roses. These are the two-tone roses on there. I just love it. And then here's a poinsettia, which is a limited edition. Um, I'm, I have never been a fan of these, but one of my kids, um, Second Life Children, um, has one of these, and I breed this one just because of her so and i love roses and second life so if you guys want to send me plant pets inside the second life world as a gift i will not stop you <laughs> um this is actually my christmas cactus rainbow take a look at this plant like how beautiful it is i love this plant it is so gorgeous and it's got particle effects too. Watch. You go click on it. And when it's happy, you can actually buy HUDs to find out the status of your plants, the watering, if it's happy. Um, it's everything. You can figure out it's everything. Bruce makes everything. Okay. You can click on particles and then you click on white sparks or you can turn it off if you like. And always click the back button if you're wanting to stay in the menu of that plant. These um, are my, they're all right. My, I've always been partial to the rainbow ones. But this one, which is not resin, this is my um, St. Paulina Nigra, uh, Nigra. I've always liked the black color plants. I just think they're so beautiful. And uh, you can see the veining every time that they're resed out. I think Bruce does a really good job at... Um, texturing his plants look at the detail in those leaves i mean i swear i mean i just can't believe how talented this man is he doesn't i don't think he knows it but now he will know this is one of my favorite plants it's simple to everybody this is called a croton blue lizard this is my favorite plant this was actually my first plant i ever received or ever dealt with inside second life as on plant pets and this one right here is my second plant and these are actually my smiling um, orchid trees and they always have a face right here look how beautiful textured these are i've never seen a breedable this detailed it's very, very detailed, everybody. So, I mean, you can't teleport here before you get ejected. Then you got my sunflowers, which are over here. Oh, here we go, the fairy charm. This is the bamboo, infinity bamboo. This is the fairy charmed right here. Isn't that gorgeous? And then we have the ring of fire. Yes, some 
full hour. This is actually a limited edition, everybody. Now, these guys are now um, limited edition now, which means they're also vintage as well. Means if you ever get a vintage pet from Plant Pets, that means it's no longer breedable. It's just there to look cute. Okay. Now let's go check on our plant. You can see now that our teal Allen tulip is grown up a little bit. It hasn't grown up much. It says its growth is 8%. 8%, its moisture level is 73. This is one of those you got to water it like crazy. So just keep watering it and watering it and watering it. Click the back button and you keep it as extra fast while it's growing. I'll show you what to do once it reaches its growth and health being 100%. I'll show you what you can do. You know what? In the meantime, let's go put it with the rest of the children because, you know, I love these things. Oh, and when you move these guys, don't be, like, mad if the parts, like, move away from the pot. See how I moved it slightly and the parts are still there? In about a minute, they re-res back to that plant. So... If they disappear, the temp on res, this, uh, temp on res prims, they do disappear. All right, so let's go ahead and put this up with the other children. Do, 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 do. Oh, and if you guys want to know about this pyramid that I have, I actually made this and scripted it myself. Yes, I did. Um... I sell this pyramid, but it's in a smaller form for one linden on my marketplace store. And it comes with different um, textures as well. And I made the script for it. So in about a minute, this will actually come back up. You start seeing the plant parts back onto it. This is a rare elite. See, now you see the plant parts re-res back. But when you click on my, my pyramid... You can change it to anything you like of the options that I give you. Change it to three, change it to four, change it to five, change it to two, change it to one, change it to zero, which I have six textures for this, but mine is actual three for this one. Um, I haven't done anything to these guys in several years. But you see, these guys, they take no food. These guys, honestly, do not take any food. Now, so you guys know, these take no food. They don't need food. They don't need fertilizer. They don't need salt lick. They don't need anything else but for you to click the menu to water them. They just take 52 days for them to give you another seed if you don't give them anything else. However, you can buy or earn, yes, I said earn, boosters for these guys. When you breed these guys and you get a baby from these guys, you definitely can get a plant booster. You can only use one booster every 24 hours. Now, plant pet boosters look like this. They have plant pet booster. They have them in unit sizes. One, two, three, five, ten, and even 52 units. That means that's how many days it will knock off. So three units would be three days off, okay? And I'll show you how this works. Now let's find a plant of mine that's going to be ready to go any moment. So let's click on it. Let's see. This is 50 days. This one is, let's see, what else? Oh, this one is three days. So this one is three days. So which one was this one? Pixie. Dust. Huh? Mm, let's see dust. All right. It's one of these guys. This one is right here. Is ready to go. So since we have this guy already resed out, 
get rid of all these dialog boxes and we will go from there. Okay, so you touched a part of the plant bit. Self explanatory, Bruce made it freaking easy. First, you touch the pot of the plant pet to get its menu, then you touch the booster to activate it. Alrighty, so guess what? We're gonna touch this middle one right here. We're going to touch the pot. Alright, we touched it, we touched it. Right, right, we touched it. Now we gotta find the plant booster. And it says plant booster three. Empty can, it can be deleted. Now it says three units of a booster received successfully. Always look that up, okay? So once you get your booster and it's already been used, delete it immediately. Delete it, delete it because it's been used. You don't want to accidentally re res it. Now we have to go back. Turn unavailability off, because I'm not going to this again. Click on the pot. It will say 32 days. I just knocked three days off of this pot. Okay, I just knocked three days off of this pot. Pixie dust, pixie dust. So we thought that one was the three day one, but that one you knocked three days off of it. So that's three days left out of 52 you have to do anything with this. We're going to turn on my um, status on available and we are going to ignore everything else. So that's how you do that. It's pretty easy. Right now I'm in the process of updating the rest of these guys. These are the last of my plant pets I have to update. And then down here I have 597, which I already updated already. And then I have 62 plant pets, which are in boxes. And yeah. So I have plenty more work to go. Look at my marketplace listings if you want a plant pet seed. Come to my store, click on my profile. I am Alicia Joy Haven. Go to the main store of plant pets. Bruce is amazing as a CSR and as an owner. He's just amazing as a person. He's always been super nice and super direct. He's not, um, he's one of those type of people that are very honorable people. But don't tell Bruce I said that. Okay. But if you need any help, all the CSRs are pretty freaking amazing. Alright guys, that's how you do that, and we're going to go check on our seed. How are you doing, little seed? How are you doing? Ooh, we look like we got some plant parts. Now take a look at that. Its growth is 21%, its health is 100 and its moisture level is 67%. That means it's grown 21%. It's not fully 100% grown, but its moisture level, we need to water this. So water's at 80, so it becomes 100%. And then we click back, and now it's 100% extra fast. If you leave this plant while it's growing, it will not die. It will have to be reset and re-resurrected all over again. We'll come back when it's a little bit more grown. Alright guys, now it's time to check our plant. We started at 10.42 p.m., which is Eastern Standard Time. And we're going to check our plant. It is 45% growth. If you have so many plants, your temp on res prints won't show. Sometimes they show, but you can see the progression of your plant. Now it's time to water your plant from 53 to 100%, which just make it 80 for easy. And then click back, and your plant's 47% growth. It's, its health is 100, and its moisture level is 100. But keep in mind of that growth. When you're doing a new seed, you're going to need to be able to make sure that you have it on extra fast until it's at 100%. 
But take a look at this plant already. Look at that. Look at those textures. Look at that steam and look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? He puts so much texture, time, and energy into these petals. Aren't they just like freaking gorgeous? I fell in love with this the moment I got this, and I'm so happy that they replaced it for me, though I screwed up. And then the other one looks like this. And we're waiting on this one to grow. You see the different stages. You actually literally see the different stages in plants. You don't see them all being the same. Just completely beautiful. <laughs> Okay guys, it is that time for us to check the last and final stage into this. So let's go ahead and get to our plant. As you can tell, it's res 100%. It's got all five of the buds that it's supposed to have. They're all mature, fully colored, fully beautiful. So we click on our pot and then we do the click on the speed immediately. We change it from extra fast to real life speed. Now when you click the pot again, guess what? It says the growth is 100, the health is 100, the moisture is 50%, and the speed of growth is real live speed. You only do that when the growth and the health are both the same. Now it's time to water our beautiful little plant to 100%. And now you only have to click on this plant plant maybe once a day or once every other day to check on its watering status. Now we're going to click on something called the particles. This is very important because this will let you know how happy your plant is. If it's not happy, it will not emit the sparkles or the particles that come with your plant. Now over time you will start seeing it and now we are definitely seeing it. See the particles are coming from this plant. It means it's happy. Even if you don't see the uh, tampon res prims, that plant is happy. Now we click on it again. You have the option to click on something called friends. You can, you know, add a, a friend you want, or you can list all of your friends. In my case, I don't have any friends. <laughs> um, Let's go ahead and click out, if this will let me do so. And then you can um, you can remove all your friends if you got mad one day. Um, and, or you can just um, add an avatar to be your friend. One minute to type in your new friend. Let's try in my partner, Bob Cat one black brain. Now he is a friend that can water or pause me. So guess what? So he can always come and water this plant if he so wished. So be careful on who you add as friends because they can actually pause the growth of your plant. So make sure it's people you trust and you care for that actually love you and have your best interests at heart. But now you guys get a chance to see how beautiful this plant is. Look how beautiful the stamens are. Look how beautiful the the, the uh, petals are. Like at the texture of the stem and leaves are the pot and the and the soil is. I mean, it's just completely beautiful. So. I hope that helps you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, let me know if you like this or not. Thank you guys for coming to this channel, and I will make more breedable YouTube videos for all of you in the future.